Before we move into our Q&A, let's just take a few minutes and look at the cost of conflict. Um, and I want to consider the question, now th this uh, graphic is on the, the, the flip side of, of your placemat and has a lot more information on it. Uh, this was drawn from a CPP study of 5,000 uh, employees in 2008, pretty robust study. So we can ask ourselves, is conflict a people issue or a business issue? You say a people issue? Okay, would anyone say that conflict is a business issue? Okay, so we've got some, some on either side and some saying both. Um, what's underneath my question is, does conflict affect the bottom line? Um, is this just kind of that messy people stuff that we've got to put up with, or is this actually affecting the numbers? Um, I'm going to argue that it does affect the numbers, and I'm going to use an example of a manufacturing organization um, kind of a, 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 small, a small size manufacturer of maybe 40 to 50 employees to put the numbers up. If you're working in another industry or um, another type of organization, these numbers are probably going to be a lot higher. But I wanted to come in, on the, be conservative on the low end and say, okay, just, just a normal uh, small organization, how does conflict affect them in one year? So first of all, the first number, 84,000. Um, $84,000 is 2.8 hours per week per employee for 40 employees that are making $15 an hour. Now what are 2.8 hours? That's the average number of hours a week that employees spend involved in unproductive conflict from the study. So if you just want to just add up how much time they're spinning their wheels uh, not getting anything done in conflict, specifically in conflict. This is not long coffee breaks. This is people arguing in unproductive conflict. $84,000. Um, five days. What are five days? That's the average amount of sick days, and those are air quotes, you know, sick days. Um, the study discovered that, that people will actually call in sick or not call in sick and just stay away and say it was a sick day because of conflict that's going on in the workplace and they don't want to be there that day. So they don't even show up. So you're losing uh, that time and that productivity. That's per employee. Um, $62,500 is, this is a, a, an almost unbelievable statistic except that it's borne out by the research. 25% of a manager or supervisor's time is taken up in unproductive conflict. They're, they're mediating squabbles, they're trying to resolve stuff, they're, they're trying to get people to work well together. 25% of a manager or supervisor's time. So if you've got five managers or supervisors at 50,000 a year and a quarter of their time, that's 62,500. Uh, then if we take those five sick days and we want to know the dollar cost, and again, we're talking about $15 an hour manufacturing labor uh, workers, we've got another 24,000 um, in, uh, in that wages we're spending for, and not getting anything from it. $90,000 is one voluntary turnover and one involuntary turnover. Uh, again, we're being conservative here. Say one person left because they, they didn't like the conflict. Another person, you told them to leave because you felt like they were a part of the problem. Um, then I believe it's Ernst & Young gives 150% of salary as the cost of turnover. Um, again, that's, I've seen a lot higher numbers, but that's conservative. So you've got $90,000 right there. Um, the kicker is $700,000, which is the average jury award for a wrongful termination. So if somebody says, well, they didn't fire me because of my performance. They fired me because they didn't like me and, and because this person was mad at me and I'm suing you and this is the average amount I'm going to get. Add that up. This is, this is approaching a million dollars in a single year cost of conflict. So is that a business issue? I think it is. 